and peace be to you from God our Father and from our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. The word of God that I've chosen to share with you this morning is taken from the gospel reading that Pastor Wilmer just read for you. I share with you today at verse 28. Jesus said, Woman, great is your faith. This is the word of God before us this morning. Please be seated. In the word of God before us this morning, we meet a woman who had a special needs daughter who was very sick. Now, this woman was from the regions of the cities of Tyre and Sidon, which was in the foreign Canaanite territory. Now, it's important to notice that here is because the people of Israel and the people of Canaan, they didn't get along with each other. They didn't like each other at all. Well, this woman is a Canaanite, and she comes to Jesus one day, and she says, Jesus, have mercy on me. My daughter is demon-possessed, and she is suffering terribly. Now, we're not really sure what this demon possession is all about. It might have been something like a, a, an epileptic seizure that carries along with it a really high fever. And if the high fever doesn't go away, it can be really serious, right? Many of you parents have had children that have high fevers. Well, not long ago, my little grandson Jackson had something like this where he had a really high fever. And if the fever didn't go down, it could have been really, really serious. Well, any parent, any parent would be really frightened by this kind of an illness, right? And that's why the woman here today is so concerned about her own daughter. She's worried that her daughter might have one of these high fevers that might not go down and might die. And in Jesus' day, they called this kind of an illness demon possession. Well, whatever it was, this illness was very serious. And this woman's daughter was really suffering. Now, the reaction of Jesus to this woman's request was quite interesting. Did you catch it? Jesus did nothing. Jesus didn't do anything at all. And that's really strange because normally when someone's sick, Jesus is always there to heal them, right? The disciples of Jesus, they're not happy with this woman either. I mean, she's a foreign Canaanite woman, and they avoided Canaanites. They didn't want anything to do with them. And so the disciples said to Jesus, Jesus, send her away. She keeps bothering us. And then things got even worse for this woman. Because Jesus said to her, I have only come to help the people of Israel. Wow, did Jesus really say that? What did Jesus mean by this? Jesus was sent to help all the people in the world, right? Not just the people of Israel. What was Jesus trying to say to her? Well, maybe, maybe Jesus was just testing her. This woman, though, she was a strong woman. She was not to be denied here. She cried out again, Jesus, my daughter is really suffering. Please help her. And then Jesus says something again that's really strange. Jesus says, it is not right to take the children's bread and throw it to the dogs. Did Jesus just say that? Did Jesus just call this woman a dog? Now, I know that the original Greek has the word meaning kind of a household pet, but it's still a dog. And Jesus is still calling her a dog. Wow, Jesus is really, really testing her here. Well, like I said before, this was a strong woman. She was really tough. And she says right back to Jesus, 
yes, Jesus, it isn't right to take the children's bread and throw it to the dogs, but even the dogs eat the crumbs that fall off from the table. Wow, what a persistent woman. I really admire her. She lived in a time, in a day, when women got very little respect. But she wasn't going to give up on Jesus helping her daughter. She knew the Jews and the Canaanites didn't get along. She knew the Jews and the Canaanites treated each other like dogs. But this woman was a fighter. She was bright, she was articulate, and she stood up for her beliefs. And Jesus noticed that as well. Because Jesus said to her, Woman, great is your faith. Your request is granted. And then, did you read what happened in the Bible? The next thing that happened was, this girl was immediately healed. The sickness was all gone. She was perfectly well. Jesus did a miracle. Wow. What a great story. Now, what can you and I learn here this morning from this story? Well, first of all, we learn that Jesus wants us to stand up for ourselves. Do you remember last week I talked with you about having the courage to stand up for your faith in Jesus? Well, that theme is continued here again this morning. Today, Jesus doesn't want you to be a Christian wimp. Jesus wants you to stand up for yourself. You have been created by God as a unique, special individual. You're special, and you should be proud of who you are. You are a special creation of God. Look again at the woman's situation here. The Jewish men in that day, they didn't even speak to women in public. Women were only valued for childbearing and for their mothering skills. Women had no rights at all. Women could not even go into certain parts of the temple. Wow, everything was against this woman. She had the wrong gender. She had the wrong religion. She had the wrong nationality. And yet, she still spoke up and asked Jesus to help her. And Jesus loved that about her. Just like Jesus loves when we're willing to stand up for ourselves as special people of God. Secondly, we learn today that Jesus wants us to stand up for what is right. This woman really loved her daughter, didn't she? She wanted the best for her daughter. And she knew it was only Jesus who was going to be able to help her daughter. A man, one Saturday, rushed to the grocery store to get a few items before the big football game that was going to be going on that Saturday afternoon. Now, the grocery store was just filled with shoppers. So the man counted his items. He only had five items. And so he decided, I'm going to go to the six-item express line so I can get out of here in a hurry. So he goes to the express line, and just before he gets there, a woman with a grocery cart filled with groceries jumps ahead of him. Well, the man is really upset by this, as you can imagine. The cashier happened to be an elderly man. And this elderly man, much to the man's delight, leaned over and said to the woman as sweetly as he could, Ma'am, which six items would you like to buy? <laughs> the elderly cashier stood up for what was right. I don't know what the reaction was from that woman, but I do know that this elderly cashier did the right thing. And wouldn't our world be such a better place if everyone did the right thing? 
This woman here today, she did the right thing for the right reason. She kept on asking Jesus for help because she knew that Jesus was the only one who was really going to be able to heal her daughter. It takes a strong person to do the right thing. That's true in school where there's so much bullying going on today. That's true in places of work where the ethical standards are being cut all the time. That's true in our communities where there are so many injustices. You know, one thing people never said about Jesus, they never said, Jesus, you are a nice, sweet person. Nobody ever said that, did they? Jesus was tough. Jesus helped other people, but he was still tough, wasn't he? Jesus was humble, but he was no wimp. He wasn't timid. No, it was all about eternal life and eternal death to Jesus. To Jesus, it was all about everybody being with him in heaven. And the only way everyone could be with him in heaven is if they would put their trust and faith in him to get there. And that is the third thing we learn here today. Jesus wants us to lead people, to trust in him for forgiveness and for eternal life in heaven. This woman here, she trusted Jesus to help her. She knew Jesus was the only one who could help her. She knew that Jesus must be the Son of God. He must be the Savior of people from sin and death because he helps people. And she trusted Jesus for that. And that's why Jesus said to her, Woman, great is your faith. Your request for your daughter to be healed is granted. Jesus wants us to trust him in our lives. Jesus wants us to lead other people to come to trust him for forgiveness in heaven as well. It's not easy to be a Christian in our world today, though, is it? People today look down on us Christians. Today, people are going to treat us Christians like dogs. They do it all the time. And yet, even though it's hard to stand up for our Christian faith, Jesus wants us to do it. This woman today was a woman of faith, and that made her a woman of courage. Can that be said about you? Are you a woman or a man with the courage to have a strong faith in Jesus? Are you a woman or a man that has courage to stand up for your Christian faith? I pray you are. I encourage you today to pray to God that he'll give you the courage to be a strong Christian in this world. I encourage you today to pray to God to give you the courage to stand up for being a Christian. Pray for the courage to be a real disciple, a real follower of Jesus. And God bless you as you do that. Amen. Let's now stand and join together in the next song of prayer.